My name is Dong Hui So. I'm postdoctoral researcher in GIST. First of all, I, I would like to thank to Hoju Lee for this opportunity. And um, I'm going to talk about a shape optimization problem and its proof, which contains several geometric ideas from Newton's shared theorem and comparison geometry. Um, my talk is consists of three videos. In the first video, I, I will, I'm going to introduce Stackloff eigenvalue problem and shape optimization problem and its related results. In the second and the third videos, I will explain my theorem and its full proof. Okay, um, let me introduce Stackloff eigenvalue problem. It is proposed by Stackloff in 92. Uh, if you take an ambient manifold M and the smooth bounded domain omega, then Stackloff eigenfunction is smooth function defined in omega that satisfies harmonic in the interior and the normal derivative <clears throat> is proportional to the value of the function on the boundary. Here the normal vector is outward as in the picture and this problem can be stated by Dirichlet to Neumann operator. This operator is defined on the smooth function on the boundary and it maps u into the normal derivative of the harmonic extension of u. This harmonic extension satisfies this Dirichlet, Dirichlet boundary problem. Then this operator has discrete spectrum diverging to infinity and it contains trivial eigenvalue. And um, trivial eigenvalue correspond, corresponds to trivial eigenfunction, which is constant. So our first eigenvalue is infimum of the Rayleigh quotient over non-zero function in Sobolex space, which is orthogonal to constant function on the boundary. Here, the Rayleigh quotient is Dirichlet energy in the interior, but normalized by the square of L2 norm on the boundary. As in the many classical Laplacian eigenvalue problems, um, explicit computation of eigenfunction and eigenvalue is difficult. So there is very, very few examples to compute can, which can be computed. And one example is disk. A disk of radius one has eigenvalue 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, and all of the natural numbers with multiplicity 2. And its corresponding eigenfunctions, eigenfunctions are actually harmonic homogeneous polynomials. So um, it can be it can be rather e easy to easy to write down, and um, uh, and and. A higher dimensional ball can be computed explicitly as in the similar in the similar way. Mm. And if you if you take if you take a polar coordinate, then eigenfunctions are constant, r cosine theta, r sine theta, r square cosine two theta, r square sine two theta up to constant. So um, 
these eigenfunctions are can be represented by product of Laplacian eigenfunction on the boundary circle and some appropriate radial functions. Uh, a fundamental question is how the geometry of the domain reflects its spectrum. And there are many subjects related to spectral geometry and one of the most classical problem is shape optimization problem. In this talk, we will only consider for maximal first, first eigenvalue. It is a problem finding the maximal domain among the collection of subsets in M. The prototype of our shape optimization problem is given by Weinstock in 1954. He considered planar Euclidean domain. And, and if you take a simply, simply connected smooth set with, with fixed boundary length, then, then op the optimal domain is disk. Then uh, Brook, Brock gave, gave a um, higher dimensional, uh, general dimensional Euclidean spaces. He shows that the first eigenvalue of smooth domain is smaller than the first eigenvalue of the ball with the same volume. Um, so if we if we consider if we consider simply connected planar region, planar domains, then Brooks result can be obtained from Weinstock's result and isoperimetric inequality. So Brooks result is not complete generalization of Weinstock's inequality. Weinstock's result. And then Booker, Farrell, Nietzsche, Trombetti considered higher dimensional Weinstock's result. They considered, they considered the convex sets with fixed boundary volume and showed that the maximal domain is a ball. And it, we can consider uh, we only consider convex sets, so um, later on, Fraser Shane consider, uh, considered the shape optimization problem without convexity condition and showed that the ball is on not optimal domain. Uh, and the following two results are considered uh, special, special domains. Um, Giroud, Legacy, Kulterovich, and Sabo considered cuboid, which is a generalization of rectangle. And they show that Weinstock type result and Broke type result. And then Butohi considered, considered a special domain and it is a domain it is a domain bounded by two balls of given radii and show that he showed that the annulus is the maximal domain. Um, the, the collection of domains he considered is previously considered by Santanam and Verma for Stackloff Dirichlet eigenvalue problem. Um, I will discuss it a little bit later. Later, uh, 
um, for non-Euclidean spaces, uh, the di this direction is initiated by Escobar in 1999. He considered two-dimensional space forms and show that uh, show that uh, among the simply co simply connected domains with fixed domain area, the geodesic ball is the maximal domain. And then Binoy and Santanam generalized his result for non-compact rank one symmetric spaces. Um, these space spaces are classified by uh, real hyperbolic space, complex hyperbolic space, quaternion hyperbolic space, and Ottonian hyperbolic plane. Now, um, let me introduce a stack of Dirichlet eigenvalue problem. We assume the the smooth domain, smooth bounded domain omega satisfies the boundary of the omega is decomposed by disjoint components C1 and C2. Then Stackloff eigen Stackloff Dirichlet eigen function satisfies harmonic in the interior and Dirichlet boundary condition on C1 and Stackloff boundary condition on C2. Then this problem is stated by the eigenvalue problem of Dirichlet Neumann operator LD, which maps a smooth function U in, defined in C2 to the normal derivative of the harmonic extension U hat. And that satisfies interior in the in the inter uh, harmonic in the interior and vanishing condition on C1 and Dirichlet boundary condition on C2. Then this operator also have this discrete spectrum diverging to infinity and there is no trivial eigenvalue because um, constant function does not vanish on C1. So the first eigenvalue is infimum of the Rayleigh quotient over non-zero function that vanishes on C1. Here the Rayleigh quotient, the denominator of the Rayleigh quotient is it's the square of L2 norm on C2. And um, we can compute explicitly on an annulus, which is bounded by two balls of given radii R1 and 1, with Dirichlet boundary condition on the inner circle and stack of boundary condition on the outer circle. Um, we can check that the first eigenvalue has multiplicity one. Um, in this direction, uh, her champagne considered bounded doubly connected domain. And he showed he con he showed that uh, among the bounded doubly connected domain with the fixed uh, fixed perimeter of the outer boundary, then the maximal domain is the conformally equivalent annulus. And then. Um, Santanam and Verma considered a special domain, which is equal, uh, equal uh, which is same as Fatoi in the previous slide. Um, they considered, they considered 
Euclidean space except for R2 and considered, uh, considered domain bounded, bounded by two balls of given radii with Dirichlet boundary condition on the inner ball and the stack lock boundary condition on the outer ball. And then they showed that uh, the annulus has maximal first stack of Dirichlet eigenvalue. Um, now uh, let me call the center of B1 by C and the center of B2 prime by C prime. And, uh, and the ball, the outer ball in the right figure by B2, which is concentric, concentric to B1. Then, um, then Santanam and Verma showed that the first, uh, first eigenvalue of the left figure is less than or equal to first eigenvalue of the right figure. Um, before, before introducing the next theorem, um, let me introduce two-point homogeneous space. Uh, Two-point homogeneous space is a connected Riemannian manifold that satisfies every, every pair of two points with given distance are homogeneous. And this two-point homogeneous space is completely classified by Euclidean space compact rank one symmetric space and non-compact rank one symmetric space. Mm. Then, then I considered Santanam and Verma's, Verma's theorem for two, two point homogeneous space. Um, this theorem contains uh, contains a condition on the radius of the outer ball. If, if ambient manifold is sphere, then this condition says the outer ball is contained in the hemisphere. <clears throat> but for Euclidean space and non-compact rank one symmetric space, the injectivity radius is infinity. The injectivity radius of the ambient manifold is infinity. So, so um, this theorem contains Santanam and Verma's results, and also it, this this theorem contains um, R two. Um, now let me introduce the last theorem due to Pauli, Pisitelli, and Zanipoli. Mm, they considered concentric annulus and, and, and domains with slight variation on outer ball with zero, zero volume variation. And then they showed that the concentric annulus has, is the maximal domain. And, and not only for the shape optimization problem, they showed, they obtained a stability result. Um, thank you for your attention. And I hope to, I hope to see you in the following videos.